India tested its maiden anti-satellite weapon system today. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, made a televised uh, address and he informed the nation about this address. Uh, and uh, a lot of congratulations have been flowing in. But Shruti, can you take us through what exactly is this weapon system and what can it do for the country? See, basically what does it mean? It means that you now have the capability to take down a, mis uh, a satellite. Now, what would that entail? That there is a, a satellite of an adversary of an enemy country that is over your skies or is looking into you, whichever way you want to look at it. You now have the capability to send a, a war, uh, send a missile or a warhead and take it down and it destroy it completely. Why is it important? Because nowadays information technology rules the world. And much of it is guided through, you know, satellite communication. So if you have the capability to interdict an adversary's satellite, then you have the ability to kind of hit him where it hurts the most. You could hit his banking, you could hit the broadcast, you could, you know, even hit power supplies. And importantly, we are the fourth country in the world to have right. that. How exactly does this uh, boost our defense capabilities? Uh, you know, it's, it's a huge, huge boost because much of much of uh, today's communication uh, and communication is the key to any kind of uh, whether your economy or whether war fighting communication is the key if you can interdict somebody's communication if you can uh, you know at will destroy or uh, you know are in a capability to say well i'll not let you function normally that's a huge plus a couple of uh, you know details that we have been able to get since this uh, thing that has happened it was an 18 ton missile that was sent off the strike was so precise that it was it hit it exactly where we wanted to uh, within centimeter centimeters of you know where we wanted to hit the missile it was a direct hit uh, it went off at about 11:10 and it hit the satellite at about 11:13 14 that's the time uh, we've got from our from our uh, sources in in the security establishment there is a lot of politics that has already started happening over this um with rahul gandhi calling it uh, you know congratulating prime minister modi for it being world uh, theater day uh, how correct is this opposition posturing you know especially something when when this is really about uh, national interest well i mean uh you know, the first thing that uh, everybody says, who, whoever is in power at that point of time, they don't do politics with national security. But then political parties willy-nilly get down to it. Any capability for that need, uh, for that matter is, you know, requires time to build it. And this was completely and totally, this entire system, so to say, was built in India. And uh, we also... Uh, uh, you know, the critical parts of these are the sensors because mind you, when you hit a satellite and in this case, when we hit the satellite, the relative velocity, that of the uh, of the missile that went up and the satellite is as, you know, as high as 10 kilometers per second. And if you then wow. hit it straight yes. in the middle, it calls for a huge amount of precision. Right. Going back to the, you know, the thing about politics, well, politics will happen, but it's... A it, has happen. Yeah, it has right. to happen. It has to happen. Unfortunate though it may be, it has to happen, but it's a huge achievement. Uh, it is a huge achievement and going forward, how is this going to um, uh, probably uh, raise India's stature in the world, uh, you know, in your opinion, uh, as far as, uh, because we, as you said, was were, are only the fourth nation in the world to be able to accomplish this. So obviously there is a certain level of uh, uh, an elite club we've sort of joined. Uh, how is going forward, how is this going to play out? Well, I mean, it's geopolitically, I mean, geopolitically, number one, it sends out a very clear message to our neighborhood because uh, China has this capability. Nobody else in this neighborhood neighborhood has, has this. this. And uh, as we all know, both India and China are aspiring powers. So it's a very sends out a very clear nation uh, uh, message that, you know, it's not only them. We also have the entire thing. The fact that we've uh, our stated policy is non-aggression. It just gives out another message saying that, well, don't mess with us. We want to, you know, let us be on our own, but we have everything ready if it is required. And the second thing, of course, I mean, being in that elite, a club sends out a clear signal to the world about not only your technological prowess, but also the fact that, you know, you're willing to go ahead and demonstrate it and tell the world that, well, we have it. Right. Right. So a um, landmark moment as far as uh, India's space defense technology is concerned. And we hope the politics of it dies down soon um, and keep watching Hindustan Times for more updates.